can feel him. You know me not somewhere in the sky. In the sky? Wait, look! You're the ones who liberated us from Inominat's domain, right? I want to thank you for all that you've done. You really don't have to do that. I was just acting in my own interests. If any Molochim still get in my way, I won't hesitate to devour them. Hey, hold up! Most of us are under the influence of Inominat's power and have been robbed of our free will. The majority of Malakim are too afraid of malevolence to even go near humans. Before Inominat's interference, we were a peaceful people. That doesn't matter to me. We get what you're saying. But if we go easy on anybody, then we'll be the ones who get killed. If you truly want to protect your friends, you'll have to stop us by force. Ugh. Wouldn't you agree that having free will means choosing the path you believe in? I suppose you're right. And that's why we too will work toward the future we desire. In order to achieve a perfect fusion of human and Moloch power, the Abbey gave Armadi a physical form. Specifically, they're vessels embedded with a formula that can manipulate mana. They call these objects Divine Artifacts. Is that what that bow is? Yes, this is one of the Divine Artifacts. We've decided we want to pass on the knowledge behind the Divine Artifacts and Armatization to future generations. Why would you want to do that? Armatization is dangerous! We want to enable humans and Malakim to coexist. What? In its current form, Armatization is a one-sided process, allowing a human to exploit a Moloch's power. But imagine if humans and Malakim could armatize with mutual awareness and consent. It could provide just the edge our people need to battle the great forces who seek to harm our world. Like the Lord of Calamity, you mean? Well, do what you want. It's another potential for the future. Yes. But I have one warning for you. The divine artifact intended for Inominat is already complete. You know what that means, don't you? Artorius himself will use the Divine Artifact to armatize with the Nominat. 
For the good of the future, we'll pray for your success in battle, Lord of Calamity. The dragon sword, so this is the demon she would have couldn't beat.
won't lose here. Not to anyone but Shigure. Wait, she's a woman? It's okay. My brother died by my hand. I see. Well done, Rokuro. Did she just say... Yeah. You see, this dragon swordsman was a previous Shigure. And my mother. <gasps> I see. So, the previous Shigure was a woman. You knowingly killed your own mother? Why? That's just how it goes in my clan. My mother slew my grandfather to take the name Shigure, and my brother did the same to her. It's an endless cycle. <laughs> but she should be dead. How did she become a demon? No, this was a Moloch. One that was halfway to becoming a dragon by the looks of it. So what then? She was reincarnated as a Moloch? But she still got to keep all her human memories somehow. It all seems a little too convenient, doesn't it? Maybe her feelings were just that strong. Or perhaps... Does it really matter? She fought like a real member of the Rangetsu clan would. And that sword belonged to my mother. Do you think Tabitha knew about this? If she did, she sure played us for damn fools. We're going to need to have a chat with her. Then look no further than Lost Cats' corner store. Meow! What? No white turtles? Maybe he caught a cold and decided to stay in bed and sleep. Just the opposite, Meow. You might even say he's had an awakening, Meow. He's seen the truth of this crazy world, Meow. What are you going on about? Whatever it is, I'm worried about him. Then you should visit Cat's Corner, Meow. I heard there's a turtles there waiting for you guys to show up, Meow. Cat's Corner, huh? Wonder what he's doing there. So your fateful encounter was a success. It was. You knew who the Dragon Swordsman really was, didn't you? Did you use us for your personal revenge? No. That loss we suffered those twenty-odd years ago was entirely on us blood wings. Hell, that Shigure was so good she managed to fight our people off while holding her newborn with one hand. Newborn? Would that have been Rokuro? 
I always thought the Rangetsu weren't ones for being sentimental. I was so surprised, I asked her why she did it. She had blood all over her face, but she looked at me with this very soft smile and said, This precious child has the potential to cut me down and go on to be the strongest swords. It's my duty to protect him. I see. The name will be passed down no longer. But at least that wish I could fulfill. I owe you one, Tabitha. And I you. That's one long-standing worry that I can now let go. Are you sure you're okay with this, Rokuro? The Shigure, my mother, was a strict person. When I was a kid, she was always scolding me for something. But for the very first time in my life, she actually praised me. That felt really good to hear. Rokuro. And I also learned why Shigure hadn't been able to carry out his mission. It's not that he couldn't kill her. He just chose not to. To take the life of one's own parent. That is an experience you don't need to have more than once. Even as an exorcist and a demon. Yeah. At least that's what I think. Bye. 
in the house What's that song? Toyed us Everyone loves them Toydles It's called The Hymn of Toydles It's an old family song A real blast from the past It's a cursed song One meant to put chills down your spines But it's almost a waste to sing to use pipsqueaks what? I don't understand a word you're saying. You will soon enough. Trust me. You like how nice and dark this shell is? Hold on, are you white turtles? You've turned down a dark path. A path that you all sent me down? We did? Yeah, and now I'm gonna cook you a new one. Cook him a new one? Why? And not just laugh is it. I'm gonna cook you a new one too, sister! And Rokiro and Aizen and Magalu! You guys are getting cooked too! I'm up to my shell in debts! And it's all because of you guys and your discounts! I'm so in the reds. I got sold off to be made into turtle soup. They were dressing me up with spices and everything, planning to make a whole feast out of me. I still don't understand a word you're saying. I want it all back. I want the good old days when I was young and but now my heart and shell, they's all gone dark as the soy sauce I was marinated in. Yes, now I am Dark Toidles. Because of yous, my old life is gone forever. What? Behold the salty soy darkness that stews within my heart! I, I can't believe he actually turned black. That must have been quite the soy sauce. It was! Soon, you all end up. Spirit Police! You broke me! Hear your justice! Fight in order! Huh.
Feel salty yet sweet. This is it then. Careful, Velvet. If you eat too much salt all at once, your blood pressure will go through the roof. Truly, he's not a very appetizing color. Though he does remind me of those noodles from Eastgand. I wasn't actually going to eat him. Although we do like our flavors thick in Eastgand. You guys just don't get it, do you? The flavor's packed in, but I'm still low in sodium. And with plenty of omega-3s, I'm good for your skin, too. More pride than sense. It's not like I wants to tell you all this, but I've been marinated so much. I've got no life ahead of me but to become the best stews anyone's ever tasted. <laughs> Velvet, don't make the guy cry. How is any of this my fault? Simmer down, Meow! Don't worry, Dark Turtles. You're not cooked yet, Meow. As long as you don't lose hope, a better tomorrow is sure to come along, Meow. Your words are too kind. It's like more salt on my wounds. <laughs> it sounds like what you need is the cat's pajamas. Meow. Cat's pajamas? It's a fun place to unwind, have a few drinks with friends, and cleanse the soul of all life's problems. Meow. Can it really cleanse any soul? Even one as dark from soys as mine. Where there's a will, there's a way. It's not a matter of can or can't, meow. The cat's pajamas is where go-getters can get together. And grown-ups only. You have to be 2,000 to enter, meow. Ah, that's no good. I'm just a 999-year-old juvenile. Ah, with turtles, nobody can tell the difference anyway, meow. Don't sweat the small stuff. That's the key to getting the most out of cat's pajamas, and really, life is... Oh, you take that to heart, and you can tell everyone you've got the inner wisdom of a 9,999-year-old. Meow. You know, I think I'm starting to feel ready to take on the world again, like I used to. I'll give this cat's pajamas a shot and see if it can cleanse my soul. Sounds great, Meow. Allow me to show you around, Dark Turtles. We'll get you set up with all sorts of nice drinks, Meow. So, what is the cat's pajamas? Well, Eleanor, I haven't the slightest idea. It sounds like a good time. We should go and check it out. Let's not. That's not a path worth going down. After all that, I still have no idea what the point was. Maybe there wasn't one to begin with. Oh no, I think today's events hold some significance. Just what'll become of that turtle's heart after the cleansing, though, is hard to say. just about nailed the look and texture of how she used to make it. Oh, did you make a quiche, Velvet? Laffy said? Perfect timing. Would you give this a taste for me? Sure, I can do that. <laughs> wow, this is incredible! It's so soft and flaky. It's really delicious. That's good. I don't know if it tastes the way Celica used to make it, 
but I'm glad to hear that it turned out okay. Now I have to go see the dogs. You mean Orthy and Russ? Yeah. There's something I need to take care of. Like what? are usually nice, but, well... I know. I killed their master. I'm not expecting them to be friendly. There's no poison in this, I promise. I just want you guys to listen to something I have to say. This quiche was known as my sister's culinary specialty. Everyone in my family always looked forward to it. You have to knead the dough in a special way and use two types of cheese for it to turn out right. The trick to making sure that it's perfect is carefully balancing the eggs and cream and making sure to remove any moisture from the fillings. Why are you telling them all this? I... I promised Nico that I would teach her the recipe one day. <sighs> you two have to make sure to pass it on to her now, okay? I won't be going to where Nico is. Velvet. Please, don't say anything. Nico won't be able to rest in peace if people try to console me. <laughs> <laughs> 